Hello, hello. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, y'all. How's it going? <clears throat> I am on to talk about all the things with you guys today. So while we're waiting, um, go ahead and glitter this video by clicking the button in the bottom left hand uh, corner and then comment hashtag glitter KMM or KMM glitter um, and let me know that you glittered the video and let's see invite all your friends and if you're catching the replay hashtag replay down in the comments that way I know you stopped by and caught the replay all right, we do have our face primed already with the mattifying primer, so I'm letting that set. Um, so while that's setting, we're gonna talk about all the things, guys. All the things. Hi, Sierra. Come on in, everybody, come on in. Let's get this Tuesday started. Although it feels very much like a Monday to me. Very much like a Monday. Anybody else? Comment down below. Does your Tuesday feel like a Monday? Tell me all about it. I'd love to hear about it. Um, okay, so. September, guys. It's September. We have our monthly kudos bundle which means my favorite foundation is on sale if you've not seen me posting about it you need to jump on this deal while you can get this bad boy on sale all of our foundations really so any of our face primers you get to choose your face primer choose your foundation um, if you want the bb cream the tinted moisturizer the stick foundation which is like a creamy um, dewy finish. It's really a great, great coverage. It's really good. Um, if you like that kind of thing, we've got the liquid gold. This is our liquid touch foundation. Amazing. Dries to a powder finish. Um, the liquid in the spray kind of has the same type of finish, but the spray is a little bit more full, fuller coverage. That's why it's my favorite because it's super lightweight, full coverage, um, transfer resistant, just amazing. Um, but I also do really love the liquid. So all of them on sale in this bundle. So choose your face primer, choose your foundation. We also have a powder, a pressed powder foundation that is amazing. If you love pressed powder, ours is really good. Um, and then you get to choose your face brush. Um, so if you go for the spray foundation, I recommend getting the Kabuki brush in your bundle. Okay, so this is a 26% savings. Definitely amazing deal on these face products. It's your flawless face products. Um, if you're interested in it, if you need a color match, then just hashtag um, color match me. I'll message you and if you already know your color, your shade, that's great. I can get it ordered up for you ASAP, okay, and get it out to you. Um, especially we're going, we're transitioning into a new season guys. So you guys are going to need some new, um, foundation shades. Okay. You're going to need your fall and winter shades. So it's on sale right now. Now's the time to go ahead and stock up on it. Um, what else? What else? What else? We're going to go in with the spray. I'm going to just show you why it's my favorite and why I recommend you trying it because it's great for all skin types. Okay. Young skin, mature skin, uh, it's, it's great for everybody. So we're gonna shake her up. And I'm gonna apply it actually with my beauty sponge today, but you can get your Kabuki brush in your bundle. Um, these sponges are only like five bucks at Walmart or Target or wherever you shop. Um, but I'm just going in with the sponge today. And I'm gonna show you how amazing this foundation is. Like you see my skin, okay? It's not perfect. Far, 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 far from perfect. 
but once I have my makeup done and these products on, it looks near perfect, guys. It's just good stuff. Good, good stuff. Um, also, good skincare makes a huge difference, too. Our Uology skincare line is thebomb.com. So if you need some good skincare products, I recommend starting there. Um, but get this, get this foundation while it's on sale this month. Okay, because look at that. You see how quickly that just covered all my imperfections smooth out my complexion blended super nicely look at that I mean if that's not blowing your mind I don't know I don't know guys I don't know what else to tell you if it's not blowing your mind I don't know what else to tell you <laughs> It's just some awesome, awesome sauce right here. Boom. There we go. All right. Look at that. I would try to take a screenshot, but it never works while I'm on here. It doesn't look good as I uh, when I'm off a of video. Okay. So you see that coverage, right? Now we're going to go in and just go ahead and cover this side as well. Match it up. Got some trouble issues going on up there. Got some stress spots. You know what that is, right? Anybody sympathize with me? Do you get stress spots? I do. I think that's just uh, God's way of telling us chill out girlfriend <laughs> take a chill pill take a deep breath it'll be all right if you didn't know we're in the process of selling our home and if you've ever sold your home before and bought a house you know that that process can be draining but it's okay because I know it's gonna all happen in God's time and it does no good to stress about it that's what I keep telling myself every day I'm reminding myself don't stress about it stress only stressing only makes it worse okay but look at that, our face is all covered. We did go out of town this weekend, a super last minute quick trip we made um, down to where we're looking for a house um, to get the kids in school. Um, this mama has been homeschooling for six years. This would be my seventh year homeschooling. I've been doing it from the beginning. They're both going in seventh grade and um, I feel as a mother and as a parent and as a teacher <laughs> that I have reached my capacity for homeschooling. So for the kids' best interest, we've decided to try to get them into a Christian school, do what's best for them. Therefore... Hence the reason why we're selling and moving. So please be in prayer about that. If you'd like to add that to your prayer list, that would be awesome. Um, pray that we get a buyer like ASAP. ASAP. I'd appreciate it. And then that something else would, or something would open up for us to purchase and it would be a quick and easy process. All right, so look at that, guys. Coverage is fantastic. Pretty sure I have it all blended. On sale, if you want it, let me know. Okay, I'm gonna hook you up, and it'll be your new fave. Like, 
believe me and trust me when I say when this product goes on sale and, and it's actually in stock, like you got to take action. Okay. So remember ha hashtag color match me down in the comments and I will shoot you a message. We will get it done. All right. So mm, I do need to brighten under my eyes, but I don't know if I have anything in here to do that. That's the cool thing also. If you need like a new brightener for under your eyes, you can use the stick foundation or the spray foundation. Some people, if they don't like anything too much under their eyes, they'll even use the tinted, like a light shade, light, light shade to brighten the under eyes up. Um, I love the stick for that and I love the spray foundation in a light shade. Very good. I need to order some more for that. Um, I also use a dark shade of the stick foundation to contour with. Um, I might show you guys how I do that. Let's go ahead and do that today. Okay, so you can, if you need a new contour, that's what else I was going to tell you guys. You guys, our Sculpting Trio palette is on sale today. Um, it's on sale for three days. Um, it's $48. It's typically the Sculpting Trio palette. It comes with highlight, contour, um, and then like a luminizer. It's usually $49 plus tax and shipping, but it's on sale right now and you can get the palette. Um, I keep hearing somebody outside. The palette and your choice of, or I think, I don't know if it's your choice of face brush or if you just get the sculpting brush, the contour brush with it um, for only $48. So that is an awesome deal. If you're interested in that, Oh, yeah, just cars coming by. Um, let me know. I'll send you the link for it. It's a really good deal. It's kind of cool. Have a highlight and contour palette all in one place. But if you just wanted something to contour with, you could try the stick. Get it in the monthly bundle. Kudos bundle. can help you choose which shade you would need or if you just want one of these for a foundation that works too now I think I'm gonna use let's just use the sponge to blend it out which I'll need to remember to go wash this after I hop off. So I don't go to use it next time and I have all this dark <laughs> contour on it. And then I'll look like someone who has a really bad tan. But as you can see, this stick foundation, it blends really nicely. It's super creamy. You can blend it down a little bit really easy to use and it just gives you some color um, and some shape. Really awesome. <sighs> but yeah, we've been house hunting. We, um, we left Sunday afternoon. <laughs> it was like a quick quick decision to go out of town. Um, literally, we were about to walk out the door Sunday morning for church. And my husband's like, hey, he's like, you want to drive down to Kentucky today and look at some places? Because we actually had one that we were looking at, we were planning to look at, um, that was kind of like a fixer upper. Something we could, you know, maybe save a little bit money on, but also put some money into it to fix it up um, it didn't look too too bad from the pictures for the price that it was um, so <laughs> he was like you want to go down and look at it this afternoon we'll leave this afternoon he had a four-day weekend for so he was off yesterday for uh, Labor Day and he's like we can just stay overnight at your sister's and 
spend some time with them, go look at the house. So I was like, sure, why not? So we like had 20 minutes to throw together some stuff, pack some stuff. I did not take very much at all. I didn't even take a drop of makeup. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe that? I didn't, I didn't take nothing, no hair products, no nothing. I was like, well, I'm already ready for church, for church tonight when we go with them. And I was like, we'll just get up in the morning. I said, I'll throw my church clothes back on, go to the appointment, and we'll be coming home. But we didn't get home till late last night because we did go to that appointment to look at that house, and it was a bust. Like, it ended up being in far worse shape than what the pictures showed. Um... Yeah, we just didn't have, like, we didn't have peace about it whatsoever. So, um, we were like, yeah, that one's not going to work. <laughs> but then on our way home, there was a couple other ones that we saw listed. We are like, let's just go by and look at them. Um, we didn't have an appointment or nothing. We was like, we'll just drive by them. See how they look. Well, neither one of those worked either. So, um, we got home late last night. So, I've been looking at some more, a few more. There are some that we're kind of interested in looking at. So, hopefully here in the next week or two, we'll be able to go back down and look at those. All right, now I'm just going in with some setting powder, guys. The Behold setting powder. This is going to just help to um, kind of like mattify our foundation and that contour because that stick that stick is kind of creamy so I'm wanting to kind of set it down so I'm just taking this behold setting powder over this stuff is so good and it's so smoothing it just helps to blend all your products so nicely and give you a really smooth flawless look And it also helps to get rid of all those harsh lines. Love it. I like to add it up under the eyes for a little brightening. Down the, the middle of the face. Love it, love it, love it. You guys, I also have a beauty box put together this month that has 15 full size products in it and it's 80% discounted. It's discounted 80% guys. So it has a value of over $400 and you can get it for 99 bucks. So if you're interested in that, your action word is beauty box. So hashtag beauty box down in the comments. If you want the info on that deal. All right, look at that. That gave us a really nice color, really nice coverage, some dimension. Um, love it, love it, love it. Now we're gonna add some blush onto the cheeks to give our cheeks some color. So, let's go in with my favorite blush shade called Supple. This product is in that $99 beauty box. Um, that face primer that I used, um, you didn't see me use it, but the face primer is in the beauty box. Guys, this is a, what is this? $34 value. The blushes are like 20 or let's see, 23, something like that. And you're getting that with like 13 other products for only 99 bucks. So that is definitely something to think about if you've been wanting to try some unique. The beauty box is definitely my recommendation It's the way to go. 
I love this blush shade for fall. It's got the prettiest tone to it. Love, love, love it. Supple, supple blusher. Okay, so let's work on filling in the eyebrows. The eyebrows. I am gonna use my brow palette. This is our brow obsession palette. It is retired. I shared a lot before it, before it retired because I love it. It is a good little brow palette. So let's find our brow artist brush, which you can still get on my website, the brow artist brush. Um, and if you wanted to, you could just use like one of our pressed eyeshadows and fill your brows in with this brush. It would work phenomenal. Okay, so I'm just gonna fill these in real quick. Kind of show you how I do my brows. I do get a lot of questions about my brows. You can see to start with, my brows are pretty thick, but I mainly just fill them in, give them a little bit more thickness. I'm not a fan of thin brows. Um, they look good on some girls, but on me, I don't like them. But if they're gonna be thicker, I do like them to look a little neat. Give myself a little bit more of an arch. And it always looks crazy until you get like your eye makeup done. So don't judge it until you're finished with your look. <laughs> Cause it can look a little odd when you first do them. Or even if you're not used to doing your brows, you're not used to filling them in. I can remember when I first started filling my brows in, I remember it looked so weird. I was like, why does that look so weird? But then like the more I kept doing it, um, I got more used to it. <clears throat> it's funny how that works. Okay, so I am going to clean that up a little bit. I brought it up a little too high. Higher than I like it. That's okay, that happens sometimes. You can always go in and fix. Okay, just like that, look at that. See the difference? We got a little bit more shape going. Um, added in that arch a little bit. Which I might bring that arch up a little bit more. Just like that. All right, let's do this other one real quick. I don't know what 
kind of eye look we're doing yet. No clue. Probably more of a natural eye look. Is what I'm thinking. Well, this brow's going much smoother than the other one. That is just usually how it goes. But this one's usually my trouble brow. That's what's so weird. But it's actually doing better today. Switching it up on me. Wow. Okay. That looks pretty good to me. So we are just going to stop right there with the brows. Okay, now an eye look. Let's go ahead and set our face. I'm going to use a little rose water, which is also in the beauty box. Rose water, that's a $29 value right there. See how I'm telling you? It's 80% off on these products. So many goodies. And the box is so cute. It is such a beautiful box. Um, you can store your unique goodies in it. So good. So, 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 so good. I'll calm that out a little bit. All right. Now, what do we want to do on the eyes? I think palette six, guys, is still available. I'm pretty sure. This is our Addiction palette number six. I used it almost all last month um, because it will be retiring soon. So um, once the stock is gone and it's off the website, you won't be able to get it anymore. So I think I might do it again today. Um, just do a really soft, pretty eye with it and show you how beautiful, beautiful, beautiful it is. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to luminize my face using one of the shades in this palette called Lofty. It's like a gold shimmery shade. I'm going to use my blending brush and we're going to add that gold shimmer shade on the tip of the nose. We're going to give a little glow. I'm taking it down the bridge onto the cupid's bow. Love that. This is one of my favorite parts of makeup is luminizing. I do it usually right after my setting spray. High points of the cheekbone, and then I like to bring mine up to the arch of the brow, right above it. Now, if you have more mature skin, I would not bring it up here on the sides of the temples, um, because that is going to just accent, accent any... Uh, lines or so just kind of keep it right here on the high points of your cheek you can add it on the arch of your brow if you'd like and there we go we are glowing <clears throat> okay now for the eye look I'm just going to use this shade right here called enthralled I'm just going to start with that for my transition that's typically the shade I pick up for my transition color, which is the color that we add right here in the crease. That's usually my go-to in this palette for this area. We're using that same uh, blending brush. You want to use a fluffier blending brush to do your transition. That way it's not harsh and you can buff it out as you go. If you want this gorgeous eyeshadow palette, your action word is going to be um, just six. 
hashtag six down in the comments. I will message you and invoice you for this gorgeous palette. Trust me, you're gonna want it before it's gone. I have done so many looks with this palette, so many different looks, and they are all have been so pretty. If you've been watching my videos, you probably saw me all last month showcasing that palette it really is like the perfect eyeshadow palette. And I just don't want you guys to miss out on it. Because I know this is how it usually happens. Once it's gone, I will talk and talk and talk about it before it's gone. Once it's gone and then everybody wants it, <laughs> right? That's usually how it goes. So I will just drive y'all crazy talking about it because y'all need to know before it's too late. I'm giving you your chance. All right, so our transition, transition is done. Sorry, I am dying of thirst today. All right, now we are gonna go in with this beautiful shimmery cranberry color. Now this color I like to just apply with my finger. So I'm just gonna go in and get some on my finger, load it up. Look at that. It is so, so pretty. We're just gonna go in and start patting this all over the lid. Okay. You can add as little or as much as you would like until you are to your desired look or desired amount. Okay. Look at that. How beautiful does that on the lid? That just is amazing looking. This palette's gonna be like the one that you're gonna pull out all fall long. I mean, all during fall. This is, you can just wear this every day. You can do soft looks with it. You can do glammed up looks with it. It's like the Swiss Army knife um, of eyeshadow palettes. You can even do your brows. You could do your blush. You could do your contour, um, highlight. There's so much that you could do with this palette. It has like so much potential. <laughs> And of course, you can do your eyes. Okay, so I think that is good. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that gold on our inner corner. Bring it up a little bit onto the lid, just a tiny bit like that to brighten our inner corners up. And that just really opens up the eyes by adding that light shimmery color on the inside. I love doing that. Just like that. Okay, I'm wanting to keep this like really soft. So I don't think I'm going to bring in any dark browns this time around. I am gonna take that transitional color and I'm gonna run that underneath the bottom lash line. Okay. Just to kind of even and balance that out. Just to smoke it out a little bit. Hi, Kim. OK, 
okay? Just like that, and then we're gonna add that gold shimmery color also right under the brow bone. Okay, this is gonna help to kind of give our eyes a lift. Also, same as like adding on the inner corner that helps to make, it just gives the appearance of the eyes being bigger. This is kind of like helping give those eyes a lift. And as we age, you want everything to be lifted. So that just kind of helps to bring everything up. So there is the soft, pretty eye look with palette six. Super easy, very like neutral, but yet it still has that pop of shimmer, which is gorgeous. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of that cranberry color. I love it. Okay. And then if you wanna add like some liquid liner on top or eyeliner on top, you can do that. Let's see what we have here. I've got a little bit of dip and draw, why not? Let's add a little bit of liquid liner on top just to give us a little bit of something, something. Little definition to the lash line. Okay, we're just gonna end it right there. We're not gonna wing it out or anything. Make sure you bring it though as close as you can to the lash line. Okay, you don't want there to be any gaps between your liner and your lash line. That is for certain. You don't want no gaps. I see that happen all the time when I'm like looking at other people's makeup and sometimes you don't even, I guess, if you can't see very well, it can very well happen. But just try to like lay your brush on its side and take it right along that lash line as closely as possible. And I give you these tips really to be helpful to you guys because I just want you to look and feel your best. Um, so I give criticism kindly and lovingly, okay? Not at all judging you on how you do your makeup. I just like to help. In my experience of makeup, um, I give you these tips to help you. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. I do like to let that liquid liner dry just a little bit. So I'll kind of just keep my eyes closed, fan it for a few minutes. It does dry pretty quickly, um, but you don't wanna go looking up or anything and get that everywhere on your lid. Just let it dry for a few moments. Okay, now we're gonna go in with some mascara. Mascara, mascara. We might do the 4D day day because my twisted mascara is in my purse out in the other room. So I've got 4D and I've got Epic Waterproof. I might have regular Epic. Yeah, I have regular Epic. What do you guys want to see? 4D, Epic Regular Black or Epic Waterproof. You guys pick. While you guys pick, I'm going to do my lips. Okay, we're gonna line a little bit with Pompous Lip Liner. All we need is one vote. 
Which mascara should we use? Okay. Now, hmm. What lippy should I fill in with? I think I'm going to use this hottie lip plumper it's not available in this shade anymore we do carry the clear still i'll have to check to see if it's in stock on the website but it's just a great lip gloss and it really does give your lips a little bit more fullness and poutiness to them you're not gonna look like you've been stung by a bee on your lips i promise it's not that kind of results but you definitely can tell a difference I know me personally, I can. Now the tinted shaded ones, they were exclusive. They're not on there anymore. But I still use them because I love them. I'm hoping one day they'll bring them back. And they could, because they were pretty popular. Okay. So I guess we're gonna just go ahead and use 40. This is our fiber mascara. It's a one-step fiber, so it helps to give extra volume and length to your lashes. Um, it's really an awesome, awesome mascara. I mean, if you wanted to try any of our three mascaras, you couldn't go wrong with any of them. But if you have super itty, 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 bitty lashes, you might really love this one. This is a lot of people's favorite mascara. Mine, personally, would be Epic. I do love the new Epic Twisted because I love the double wand feature that it comes with um it has this tiny little micro wand in it that is just incredible because i have stubborn lashes that like to stick together um and when that happens it can kind of make your mascara look clumpy and the micro wand in the twisted mascara helps to separate and make them look more defined I really love that about that mascara. But all of them, I can't complain about any of them. I really can't. <laughs> That's why it would be so hard for me to pick like my top, like top three favorite products. Hi, Emily. Hey, girl. Sorry, it didn't show me that you joined. It's so weird on my business page. It doesn't always tell me who joins. What are you up to, girl? I was gonna use the Twisted today, but it's in my purse in the other room. And I didn't wanna go grab it, so we're using some 4D up in here. Okay, I'm gonna let that side dry real quick. <clears throat> Work. That's always fun. Always fun.
Oh my goodness, isn't it so good? Like, I really didn't think they could make another mascara that would blow my socks off. But it really did. It blew my socks off. It blew my mind. It blew my socks off. It just blew everything. <laughs> I'm like, unique. Okay. Like, they just don't disappoint. They never disappoint. So we still have lots of new products coming out this year too, which is super exciting. If you guys have never been around for my Black Friday, stay tuned for that because that's always a blast. And I have a feeling a lot of our new products will be coming out around that time. I think it's my favorite and I thought, oh, I know, I know. I've heard so many people say that too. They're like, I did not think anything could beat 4D for me, but Twisted kind of just shimmied its way up there to the top of the list. It's crazy. It's that micro wand, I'm telling you. It is that tiny wand. That thing is just... It just does amazing things. <laughs> it does amazing things. I tell you something I need to uh, start doing is throwing away when I'm getting to the end of an old product and then I get a new one, a refill. I need to just throw the old one away because I usually grab the wrong one. Like, I'll have like three and four 40 tubes laying around. It's like, I used it to the last drop. <laughs> Although, you shouldn't be keeping your mascara for longer than three months. Especially if you use it like every day. Like I do. But look at those, look at those lashes, guys. I do two coats on top and take the smaller brush and get the ends. Girl, my lashes are so long. I know. I know. I take the small brush first, get it in the base. I kind of use that small brush. Like, I clean some of the product off the wand first, but then I kind of, like, take it into the base and kind of tight line with it. Um, and then I'll take it through to get all those tiny lashes at the base of the lash line that sometimes like big fat wands like this does not get in there and get those tiny uh, lashes. So they end up getting like left behind. So that little tiny wand can really grab a hold of every single hair or every single lash. It's awesome. Try it girl, I'm telling you. So I'll do that and then I take the big one, the fatter wand through. The fatter one actually separates my lashes better than the small one does. Um, but I'll take that big one through and then I take the tiny one through again. And then I finish off with the fat one again. Like I've gotten the best results doing it that way. And then of course use the tiny one for your bottom lashes. Because uh, hello, it's like mess free. You can get your bottom lashes like mess free. I always make a mess when I'm trying to get like in these hard to reach places. I don't know why. I just bump my skin every single time. I haven't yet. I don't want to jinx myself, but I do it all the time. If you guys watch my lives, I do it all the time. Like I need to put together a compilation of how many times I've done it. It would be pretty comical because I'm pretty sure I make the same face after I do it too. <laughs> I'm always like, really? Really, Kayla? Okay, let's see. This brush is like too fat for down here. Especially if you don't have very sturdy hands, like stable, non-shaky. Oh, oh, oh. See that? 
Told you. Told you. Every time. <laughs> nope, not with that micro wand. It's like zip in there and out. Okay. Woo, look at those lashes. Look at them lashes. Holy smokes, let's see if we can. I don't have a Q-tip laying here. Oh, my Q-tips are in the other room too. Oh, did she get it? No, it's still there. There we go. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, guys, look at that. Okay, so that was palette number six. If you don't own it yet, you need to, uh, drop a hashtag six down in the comments. I will get it ordered up for you. It will be gone soon, as soon as the stock is gone. I think they're taking it away for good. So look at that gorgeousness. Don't miss out on it. Remember, my face bundle, my flawless face bundle, comes with any face primer, any foundation, and any face brush. Let me grab my face brush. Okay, 26% savings. Um, if you want that hashtag, um, 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 what did I say earlier? What did I call it? I don't know. Just hashtag kudos down in the comments. I know I called it something else earlier, but I'll know what you're talking about. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. If you want in on the $99 box that comes with 15 full-size products, you just want to try all the things, um, then hashtag beauty box down in the comments and I will message you all the details on how to get that thing. Um, it really is the best deal ever. It's just the best way to try everything. Well, not everything, but a lot. I mean, 15 different products for only 99 bucks. It's like an 80% savings. Okay, so I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. Again, my name is Kayla. If you need anything, message me and I will help you out, okay? I will answer all the questions and help you get some of these amazing goodies. I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you guys on the next live.